In speaking with a friend the other day, we were talking about relationships, right? Into your intimate relationship and how, you know, it, when things are good, you see them as you want to see them, certainly early on. And then as the relationship starts to flush out and the reality comes up in people's humanity shows, things can have cracks or, you know, things that you were able to kind of see past bump their heads up against maybe, I don't know, um, a way you live your life, a habit, a behavior, um, again and again, and they become more and more of an issue. So um, in that discussion, what came up and what came out was um, a question of, you know, two people come together to create the container of relationship. And both man, masculine and feminine within a man and a woman, I'm talking about a relationship with a man and a woman because that is my experience. Both are the vessel. So they are both the vessel itself and they are what fills the vessel. And the elasticity and the fluidity between two people, it changes. You know, at some, po at some point, someone might be a really strong vessel for the other to pour into and vice versa. And sometimes you might both be the vessel and sometimes you might both be pouring. And you work through all of it. But both parties have to contribute to both aspects. If you are simply a vessel waiting to be filled... You're not participating. Within the container of relationship, both need to contribute. Whatever, whoever you are, you just contribute who you are. I'm not saying you have to like have a, a skill. Obviously, couples tend to like one might be better at a certain thing and another and they might like mesh together, but that's not even necessary. Um, what I'm saying is you both must actively participate within whatever you've defined your container as. And further flushing that out, what came to me um, and what I have flashes of, which is absolutely amazing, is that there are times where simultaneously you can project the goddess or the god man within your partner. Be aware that you're projecting and at the same time, love their humanity, their imperfect, flawed, bratty, whatever. You love their humanity. So it's the idea of your own divine and your own humanness making the relationship so robust. And if both partners can come there in a place of vulnerability, it's amazing. It's not constant. You don't stay there. But if you can arrive there, it's amazing. And in my experience, there's a couple different ways to get there. There's dialogue where you're both just being super raw and real and you hit that point. Maybe you're not even speaking words, but you hit that point where you lock in and you are there and you can see both. The divinity, the God-man, and the human man. And the other place that that happens is in the bed. If you are coming to your sexual union completely vulnerable and open and both a giver and a receiver, you can reach that same place verbally or not. So what I just wanted to offer you today is the idea that both partners contribute so I understand that the woman is the vessel, right? I get that. I do. But we all, no matter whether you date the same sex or not, we all have the polarity of feminine and masculine within us. And we all need to bring all of it forward to have a full, a really full relationship with yourself, but of course with your partner. But there is that place that you can get to that 
is it is the moments out of time. It is where you cross into a different dimension. And you do it through union. And that's what I wanted to bring you today. And I will see you tomorrow.